reminds team members that through God all things are possible. Phone 847-6732. Second down and nine. Evans being pressured from behind, racing towards the Hound Dog sideline, trying to turn it upfield, and he will not get there to make that turn. Good pursuit that time by Goad and Medina. And he has stopped well short of the 35-yard line. It'll bring up third and long. It looked like Evans was going to have some room to work out there. But Goad closed the gap quickly and forced quarterback out of bounds. Nice job by the outside linebacker there in the open field. It's a gain of only two. and It'll bring up third and long with six and a half left to go here in the third quarter. Hound Dogs only one of six from third down conversion tries in the first half, and they have failed on their third down try here in the second half. Evans, nobody open out to the wide side of the field. He's going to try to run to the short side, and Cassville's defense wrestles him out of bounds, and somebody may have got in a little late on that one as a flag comes flying out at the tail end of the play. And Coach Parnell's not going to like that as a third down play. You were getting ready to get him off the field. You're going to have a horse collar here, and that's going to more than likely end up with a first down. You had him off the field. You can't let him off the hook like that. So that will move the ball into Cassville territory, or will it not? It goes right out to the 50-yard line. It's only the second penalty of the night against Cassville, but both times it's been for 15 yards, so a total of 30 yards of penalties against the Wildcats. First and 10, Aurora at midfield. Keeps the drive alive. Evans steps up in the pocket. Fires over the middle. It's intercepted by Garrett Knight back at the 35. He had a couple of men open, but Knight steps right in between him and picks it off, takes it the other way across midfield into Hound Dog territory. Third turnover of the night against Aurora. Yeah, big interception. We talked about that earlier. We talked about you, you make the quarterback uncomfortable. He's not, he doesn't set his feet to throw the football. Ball's liable to sail. That's exactly what we saw right there while sailing over the head of the intended receiver. Wildcats in the secondary are deeper than the wide receivers. Great job, Garrett Knight at safety, reading, breaking on the football, coming straight forward, making the interception, running the ball back across midfield into Hound Dog territory. So the Wildcats quickly get the ball back at the Aurora 44-yard line, first and 10. Six minutes left to play, third quarter. Cassville leading 31-7. to That's where we were at halftime. That's where we remain halfway through the third, and... River Phelps gets the call on first down. Pushes ahead to the 42-yard line. No, looks like they just give him the 43, so it's a pickup of only one. Short gain there. Right now, Wildcats not really concerned about tempo. Trying to shorten this football game, get out of here with a W. Second down and nine for the Wildcats. Pearman and White go wide to the right. Split backfield behind Haney. And Hunter gets the call. He takes it around the right end, busts one tackle, drives inside the 40, and takes it down to about the 38 or 39. Good strong run by Stephen Hunter. And it'll bring up third and short. Now Stephen Hunter, 205-pound back, pounding at you in the second half of a football game. It's not much fun if you're on that hound dog defense. And you know he's, every time he touches the football, he's going to run hard. Third and four now for Cassville. Ball just outside the Aurora 38-yard line. Pitch goes to Phelps. He's got Hunter leading the way. Somebody gets into the backfield. Phelps makes that man miss. Keeps the legs moving forward. And second effort may have got him the first down. We'll see where they spot the football. Somehow, River Phelps was able to stop and elude that defender behind the line of scrimmage. And he does pick up the first down. The Wildcat first down brought to you by Les Jacobs Ford. Need a good body shot? They've got you covered. Let the experts at Les Jacobs Ford make your wreck better than new. They work on all makes and models, and they guarantee your satisfaction. Now toss sweep to the short side of the field around the right edge, and Kyle Todd shot through there. It looked like he was going to bring Phelps down for a loss. He made him miss. He's hit, he stopped, hit the brakes on a dime, made him miss, and pick up that first down. What a run. Anthony Tolbert gets his first carry of the night as he takes it down to the 31 and picks up two yards. Down to 4.20 left to go here in the third quarter. Cassville leading 31-7. to Nobody scored so far here in the second half. Wildcats have been able to take a lot of time off the clock as their drive continues. Second down and nearly eight from the Hound Dog 31. 
They give the ball to Phelps, runs right into one of his own offensive linemen that got driven back by a good surge from the defensive front, but Phelps is able to reverse direction and rumble his way around the end down to the 27 as he picks up three or four yards. That's literally making something out of nothing right there. Phelps took the handoff and immediately ran right into the offensive lineman, was able to skip out kind of a hop skip out to his right towards that Wildcat sideline and down the field he went was able to get positive yardage on that play. That is impressive. So third down and nearly four to go for Cassville. And they give the ball to Phelps again. Starts right, goes back left inside the 25, down to the 24. But it looks like he's going to come up just short of the first down. Comes up about a yard short, and it'll bring up fourth down. You know, that time the Wildcats came out and split back. Looked like the play was designed to go off. The right side felt started that way and then had a little cutback. He saw something he liked, had a little cutback, but he's going to be just a little short. So the Wildcats went for it on fourth down in the first half, failed, and they're going to try again. Quarterback keeper this time, Haney, good surge from the offensive line. Was it a good enough surge to get him the first down? From our angle, it looks like it is, but we'll wait and see where they spot the football. We're kind of off-centered here, and they do signal first down Cassville, so the chains will move as Cassville converts on fourth and a yard. The quarterback sneak, Haney got in behind his offensive line, then he had a little help from Stephen Hunter coming from the back, pushed him right between the numbers, tried to help him pick up that first down, and he did. Surge went down to about the 22, first down Cassville. Under three minutes now left to play here in the third quarter. Wildcats leading 31-7. And the drive continues. They run the option. Around the end goes Haney as he keeps it and takes it all the way down to the 17-yard line. Picks up about five yards. He got five yards. Didn't look like he was going to quite get that much. Made a nice move as he started downfield. He sidestepped a defender, was able to split two more before he was brought down. Nice little run there. We're closing in on two minutes now left to play here in the third quarter. Cassville has dominated time of possession here in the second half. Second down and five. And Phelps gets the call. Starts right, comes back left. He's inside the 10, breaks the tackle at the five, into the end zone, touchdown Wildcats. And they're going to be another flag. It's going to be another horse collar, but another touchdown for Phelps. He was pulled over backwards just as he crossed the goal line. Hops up injury free, but you're going to have a horse collar call here right at the goal line, but another touchdown, River Phelps. And another change of direction making a turn on a dime was River Phelps. He started to the right. Play was kind of flowing that way, and he saw a little opening back to his left, made a quick cut back, and once he made that cut back, he only had a couple of players between him and the goal line, broke a tackle at the five-yard line, and plunged in from 17 yards out. Well, he just he, he runs with great vision, and that cutback run can be so effective. He, especially against a defense that's it's aggressive and, and over-pursuing a little bit. That cutback run can be devastating, as we just saw right there, 17 yards out. River Phelps now to attempt the extra point. They do call the horse collar against the Hound Dogs. It'll be assessed on the kickoff. The kick from Phelps is up, and it is good. Wildcat Extra Point brought to you by Willis Insurance for auto, home, health, life, and commercial insurance. See the folks at Willis Insurance on the square in Cassville and in Shell Knob in the Bridgeway Plaza. Stop by or call 847-3300 and let them give you a quote today. Two minutes left to play here in the third, 38-7. Cassville with the lead. And the Wildcats taking most of the time off the clock here in the second half. That's, you know what, coming out after halftime, that was more than likely the message, guys. Let's go out, shorten this game. Let's eat clock. If we get it in the end zone, great. If not, let's just shorten the game. Uh, don't give the Hound Dog offensive football. It's going to be hard for them to score. So the Wildcats set to kick it away. The Wildcat kickoff brought to you by Baywash Car Wash, a super selection of car care vending products that protects its surface from the wear and tear of weather throughout the year. A clean car is a happy car, and that's what you'll get at Baywash. Logan Lawfer, and Caleb Baker, and Clayton Dunning will drop back deep for the Hound Dogs. They mark off the penalty again to the 45. So again, Phelps 